in any city, in any country, go to any elementary school you can get yourself into and to be sure to wear sturdy, comfortable gloves. Confidently enter the school and seek out a classroom with the youngest children inside. Ignore any who question you or attempt to impede in your way. They seek only to allow you. Let no one and nothing stand in your way. Once in the classroom, <coughs> approach the instructor. Stand face to face and demand to see the holder of the game. If the instructor says or does anything, flee. For, for your freedom is now at stake. Keep running until your body drops and sleep or you fall. You'll know in the morning if you manage to ascertain your freedom. If, however, <coughs> the instructor stops abruptly and stares gently over your right shoulder, you're in the right place. Do not turn around. Instead, announce with as much confidence as you can muster. It is time for the game. Behind you, you will hear many skittering noises, interrupted by the occasional thud of stone hitting stand. Resist any temptation to turn and look. It will only serve to unnerve you, because you'll need your full wits about you soon enough. Instead, wait until the sounds have ceased. Wait patiently, as it can take minutes or even hours. When the sounds have passed, <coughs> remain motionless. The instructor will announce it is waiting its amusement. Then, and only then, slowly turn around. The scene before you will, quite to your surprise, be the same as the one when you enter the room. The only change being that the desk has moved up against the walls. Your children will have formed a circle, and will be facing, sitting, facing the center in absolute silence, eyes shut tightly. <coughs> the effect you'll feel may be unnerving, but do not show it or let it deter you. You must quickly enter the circle. Be assured that this is not the same room that you entered earlier. It is no longer safe. The inside of the circle... In the on the other hand, so as safe. So feel free to take a moment once you're in the circle to gather yourself. Regain your equilibrium and perhaps even stretch in preparation to run. You will have to soon enough. When you're prepared and you are able, approach any child and stare at their eyes. Shut as they are. You must ask, how does it entertain? Stare directly into the child's closed eyes, waiting for a response. If there is no response, move quickly to the for, to the next child on either side and repeat the question. Depending on the person you are, <coughs> it could take as many as eight trips around the entire circle, or as little as only a few children. There is no rush here. When, eventually, a child opens its eyes, you must you you find yourself staring into a blank empty black black socket. You must then you must prepare for the game. After a pause, the child's face will contort into a look of rapt excitement. The holder is coming. Before you, you will again hear the sound of skittering and stone hitting sand. This time, however, you will hear the sound of running feet. Resist the urge to. <coughs> Look what is rushing so eagerly towards you. It will not take long to arrive and join the game. Eager to play. Its arrival will be allowed, announced by high shrieking laughter. And it will persist until you turn. When you do, you'll find yourself face to face to the holder of the game. The holder of the game can appear to anyone who was ever a child. Do not be fooled. This does not mean that it is one itself. It will be dressed conservatively, in whatever cause it is, it is appropriate for its guise. It, the only distinguishing mark will be the marred look and size, the look of complete and utter exuberance. Do not meet its eyes. You will only be distracted. Then, and you really can't afford that. 
The holder will extend its right hand, keeping its left tuck behind its back. It will ask, shall we play? Ignore its words and its offer of greeting. Instead, concern yourself with its left hand. Those gloves are, ne are necessary, for if any part of the holder's hand should touch any part of your flesh, you will be doomed to the circle, to the circle of eternity. Thus is the nature of the game. Carefully remove the object from the holder's left hand. The holder will make a great show of resistance, but you'll find it surprisingly easy to retrieve. A, a simple rubber ball. Once you are holding the ball, the, <coughs> the, the holder will stop again staring at it with rapt attention. When you feel you are ready, remove either glove and hold the ball in your bare hand. Bounce it once on the floor and catch it. You will feel great joy and as if all your cares have been lifted. Do not allow yourself to stop and enjoy th this feeling. Turn and run for the door. From behind you, hopefully, you'll hear sound again. <coughs> the seeker approaches. It will echo in your ears. The halls will reverberate with the sound of every child in the world counting. One, two, three. Do not concern yourself with the counting, or anything at all. Merely clutch your prize and run. Hmm. Using whatever means you're possessed to travel as far away from the school as possible. You'll know if you made it in the end. The rubber ball is object 185 of 538. When the counting stops, the holder shall become the seeker, and then the game shall truly begin. The objects must never come together.